Right after the first summit with DPRK leader Kim Jong-un last June, U.S. President Donald Trump was gushing, touting its success. Well, it's better than anybody could have but the pact they signed was long on promises and short on specifics. And the world mostly shrugged. While, you know, people did say, well, concretely, tangibly, what did you get out of the deal? Um, you know, bear in mind, you know, North Korea has been building its nuclear program over decades. Uh, it's not going to be dismantled in a year. Trump and Kim get all the headlines. They're the ones the cameras chase. But behind the scenes, carving out the specifics, are the leaders' trusted diplomatic aides. The two leaders should be, they should focus on the relationship, on the bigger picture, um, and those that work for them get down to the, the, the nitty-gritty and the details. For Team Trump, that includes U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton. The point man for the U.S. is Envoy Stephen Began. He's visited the DPRK capital of Pyongyang and has been outspoken about what Trump wants out of a deal. The president, he used the word peace. The president is interested in, 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 in peace. He, he wants to move this process toward peace. I think that the Vietnam talks could potentially go well, provided that we do not aim for complete and near-term North Korean denuclearization. It's just not realistic. O'Hanlon says it's been a core part of the Kim family legacy dating back to the 1960s, and the country will not readily give up nuclear weapons, even for economic growth. For Team Kim, the list includes Ri Yong Ho, the DPRK foreign minister who called Trump President Evil at the UN General Assembly in 2017. There's also Kim Yong Chol. He's considered Kim's right hand man and the nation's former military intelligence chief. It is a summit between two really, you have to say, larger than life personalities, right? That's our president, and that's uh, clearly Kim Jong un in, his, uh, in the way that his society is set up. With all the backroom discussions, experts believe the success or failure of the summit will really hinge on two people with personalities larger than life, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Washington.